Hey YouTubers, how are you? Hey, just wanted to do a quick little video today um, about uh, baseball trading cards, specifically autographs. Um, I've been out of the hobby for quite some time, uh, probably early 90s really got done. But I was just thinking as baseball comes into full swing today, uh, thinking about what I used to like to do as a kid and, you know, um, something that kids today could do as well that I did, that I had a lot of fun with, was uh, collect autographs. Um, I, I didn't get a lot of them, but I, but I had some, and it's fairly easy to go about. Um, I know a lot of people pay to get autographs, but here's a rather inexpensive way to do it. Uh, this was um, these were all collected essentially by mail. Uh, what I did um, is I would write a letter to the player, include my baseball card, but also most importantly include an, uh, an envelope that was already self-addressed with a stamp so that the player could return it to me. I used to keep the letters fairly short, you know, tell them why I was a fan of the player, um, you know, ask obviously nicely for the autograph, wish them the best of luck in the season and such, and move on. Now, the address where to send these, simply what you do is you look up the address of the stadium where they play. So if you want, if it's a New York Yankee that you want their autograph, you find the address for Yankee Stadium. You write the player's name on the envelope. So, you know, you would write on there, you know, Mark Teixeira in care of, you know, Yankee Stadium, whatever the address is, and then mail it out. A lot of these players do sign. Um, sometimes it, it can take quite a while. Um, I think uh, if I recall this one right here, this Jordy Reed baseball card, if I recall, I think that took a, like a year to get that card back. Um, so patience is a virtue. Uh, it is something, though, that's a lot of fun. You, you can, as a child, you get to look in the mail every day and see, you know, hey, did I get something? Did I, you know, did something come in? And then when it did, it was like, you know, oh, gosh, who is it? I wonder which one it is that, that it wrote back to me. So it was quite a bit of fun and uh, relatively inexpensive to do you know some stamps envelopes and paper and a little bit of your time now some of these players don't sign uh, so consider this whatever you're sending out you may not get the card back so uh, make sure it's something that you're willing to part with uh, because there's a chance these players don't have any obligation to do anything um, but again a lot of them will uh, so again i just wanted to make this short video um, something that I thought people uh, might benefit from and certainly, uh, you know, have fun doing it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you don't have to spend $20, $30 to try to get an autograph. Uh, and, and again, like I said, uh, it's just simply a lot of fun. Enjoy.